Hi guys, my name is Siri. Knowing how to pronounce new words so that other people understand them is a vital skill for every English learner. So today you'll learn about word stress and how emphasizing different syllables in a word can change its meaning. This lesson has been inspired by the English vocabulary in use Upper Intermediate book. An accessible and reliable high quality material with lots of vocabulary topics that I found really easy to use. If you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. What is word stress? It's when a syllable is pronounced with greater force than other syllables in the same word. Happy, a girl, education. The stress can be placed on any syllable in a word, so you have to learn how to do this correctly. But fortunately, there are some word stress patterns that can help you. Some two syllable words in English look the same for the noun and the verb. And for some of these, when the word is a noun, the stress is on the first syllable. Record. Record. And when it is a verb, the stress is placed on the second syllable. To record. Record. Let's try it out. Which syllables are stressed in the two record words in this sentence? I wish I could record a hit record. Here are some more words like these. Project. To project. Increase. To increase. Present. To present. My next project is decorating my room. We could project the film onto that yellow wall. Here are some more examples like these taken from the English Vocabulary News Upper Intermediate Book. Finally, there are some exceptions. These words keep the same stress pattern when being nouns and verbs. Label. To label. Travel. To travel. Answer. To answer. Multisyllable words in English tend to put their main stress on the third syllable from the end. Arithmetic. So in this case, we count the syllables from the end. Arithmetic. Arithmetic. Now, where do I put stress if I add a suffix to this word? Hmm. Arithmetico. Arithmetico. That's right. Biology. Biological. Biological. Psychologist. Psychological. That's right! <laughs> Although there are plenty of exceptions, this pattern is very useful. In this game, you'll see a sentence like this one. Choose the right word with the correct stress pattern from A and B to fill in the blank. You'll have five seconds to decide. He will get a pay increase. She is studying to become a psychiatrist. All food products need to be labelled. You can find more examples in the English Vocabulary in Use Upper Intermediate book. Vocabulary in Use is a trusted resource written by expert authors so you can quickly find accurate explanations and exercises you need to succeed in your English language learning. Find out more about Vocabulary in Use by clicking the link in the description. How about you? Which words do you find difficult to pronounce? Write us in the comments below. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!